This video will guide you through getting started with Siemens NX. There may be differences between NX and other CAD packages you've used, however once you learn the basics you will discover how easy NX is. Once you've launched NX, go to the new icon on the home toolbar. Select a model file type, give the file a name and a folder location. Select OK. To start, select Sketch on the Home tab. You will be prompted to select a plane to sketch on. The planes will highlight under your cursor. If you pause before selecting the plane, Quick Pick will launch, giving you a list of selection options. F8 orients your view to the sketch plane. Use the direct sketch tools to create your profile. Use Escape to finish. Your sketch will have automatic dimensions applied in grey. These do not constrain your profile, so you need to define the values of your dimensions. At the bottom of the screen, you will be given an alert to tell you if the sketch is fully constrained. You can double click on the auto dimensions to define their values, or use the rapid dimension tool to put in new values. To add sketch relationships, select two lines and follow the arrow icon. The movement of your mouse will open up a toolbar allowing you to add relationships. Once your sketch is fully defined, it will be shown at the bottom of the screen. Select Finish Sketch to exit the sketch environment. You can now turn your sketch into a 3D shape. Select Extrude. The drop down on the toolbar above allows you to define what you want to use to extrude, for example, a single curve, connected curves, etc. I will choose Regions. The curve rule defines the behaviour for how curves are selected and remembered. By selecting region, if one of the sides of the sketch is changed, the extrude will update. If you've selected the wrong geometry, you can use reset in the top right hand corner to reset the inputs. Within the extrude toolbar, you can define whether material is added or removed by the feature. For the first extrude, it is inferred that material is added. To edit any feature, double click on it in the part navigator. To edit dimensions, double click on them. As this sketch is used for the extrude, the extrude updates. Right click to access the option to hide the sketch. Unticking the feature will suppress the feature. The feature that was just created has a sketch that is separate from the feature. This allows the most flexibility as the feature can be deleted separately from the sketch. To create a feature with an embedded sketch, select the extrude feature and then select sketch selection. This takes you into the sketch environment. Create your sketch and click finish. In the extrude toolbar you can define the extent of the extrude and whether it will add or remove material. Continue to create your model using extrudes, edge blends, chamfers and holes. If you cannot find a command, use the command finder in the top right hand corner. To understand the relationships between the features, select a feature in the part navigator. Parent features are highlighted in red, child features in blue. Double click on a feature to edit it. To edit an embedded sketch, click on the sketch section icon. That covers the basics of getting started in NX. For more help and advice, go to File, select Help and NX Help.